I'm ready. As a response to the forced isolation of the pandemic, we wanted to make a film that would involve the entire dance department at The Ohio State University. But how to do that within quarantine restrictions? My answer was to shoot people individually on green screen and assemble them together using my hyper match cutting technique that I have developed in the dance film field. What you're watching now is a run through of the piece of choreography by Mo Martin Jai. It's being shot by one of the five student dance filmmakers who worked on the project. This run through will serve as a positioning template for the green screen footage to replicate the sense of camera movement and three dimensionality. On the left side, we see what the camera recorded to act as the placeholder, and on the right, we see the camera movement itself. This guides us in animating the virtual camera in the 3D environment. The blue and red numbers in the corner are the chunks that the choreography will be broken up into. The blue number for the dancer in blue, the red number for the dancer in red. One person will do part 13, one person will do part 14. And once those are shot on green screen, the clip will be aligned over and replace the run-through footage. So then we had to shoot everyone in the department, students, faculty, and staff. Big organizational challenge. In one studio, Momar's cast is teaching the participants their sections while my filmmakers prep for the phrase. And in another studio, the shoot happens with the filmmakers carefully reviewing the camera movement to replicate it. B-47, take one. Here's the original base footage, and here's the individual green screen elements replacing it. That movie is placed in this 3D environment with a virtual camera replicating the original camera movement, so we move around in this world, giving a sense of spatial orientation that we lose without having the regular spatial cueing from floors and walls. And that's how you make Wenusai.